You are watching video on SEE examination preparation grade 10 exam subject science. This video is going to help you to revise physics chapter light. This is part one of the revision. The content here is prepared on the basis of previous board exams question papers. Explanation of some important topics is given in previously published videos. Chapter light. Question number one. Define lens. A lens is a transparent medium bounded by two refractive surfaces and at least one of which is spherical. Number two, why does a lens refract light? A lens is a transparent medium made up of glass. It is a denser medium than air medium. So when light enters into it, it refracts light. So bending of light when it passes from one medium to another medium is followed here. Define convex lens. A lens that is thicker at its center than at the edges is a convex lens. So this is convex lens. The middle part is thicker and the edges are thinner. Which lens is called a converging lens and why? The convex lens is called a converging lens because the emergent rays meet at a point after passing through this lens. A parallel beam of light converges means meet at its focus. That is why convex lens is called a converging lens what are the types of convex lens the types of convex lens are biconvex both sides are convex concavo convex this is the refracting surface concavo convex plano convex one side is a straight and another side is spherical and define concave lens a lens that is thinner at its center than at the edges is a concave lens. So the middle part is thin and the edges are thick. Which lens is called a diverging lens and why? Concave lens is called a diverging lens because the emergent rays go farther apart from one another after refraction through this lens. A parallel beam of light appears to diverge away from each other from its focus. A parallel beam of light appear to diverge from its focus. That is why concave lens is called a diverging lens. What are the types of concave lens? Types of concave lens are biconcave. Both sides are concave. Bi means two. Convexo concave. This is convexo concave. And plano concave. Plano concave. One side is straight and another side is concave. Write the differences between convex and concave lens. Differences between convex and concave lens. It is thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. Whereas concave lens, it is thinner in the middle and thicker at the edges. Now convex lens, it converges a parallel beam of light on refraction. Whereas concave lens, it diverges a parallel beam of light on refraction. Write two differences between the image formed by convex lens and concave lens. Image formed by convex lens. The image can be real or virtual in case of convex lens, real as well as virtual. In case of concave lens, the image is always virtual. Convex lens, the virtual image is always magnified, magnified bigger than the object. Whereas in case of concave lens, the virtual image is always diminished, smaller than the object. And next question is two uses of convex lens. Two uses of convex lens are jewelers and watchmakers use it as magnifying glass. So it is used as magnifying glass and next uh, use is to correct hypermetropia or long sightedness. These are the uses of convex lens and the uses of concave lens. Uses of concave lens, it is used uh, in the peephole of a door. To look through it outside peephole of a door. And next use is to correct short sightedness or myopia. Short sightedness or myopia. These are the uses of concave lens. Define the following terms. Centers of curvature. Centers of curvature. The centers of the spares whose parts form a lens are called centers of curvature. So the lens is made up of 
uh, small parts of two spheres okay these are two spheres and two spheres have their centers c1 and c2 these centers are called centers of curvature and the small parts parts of these spheres are making lens okay this part this part is the part of this sphere and this part is the part of this sphere so the parts of two spheres form a lens principal axis define principal axis so it is a straight line passing through two centers of curvature of a lens a straight line passing through two centers of curvature of a lens optical center the geometrical center of a lens is called its optical center it is denoted by o the middle part the center part of a lens principal focus it is a point on the principal axis where a parallel beam of light parallel to the principal axis meet or appears to meet after refraction so the beam of light rays of light after refraction meet at a point on the principal axis that point is called principal focus focal length it is the distance between the principal focus and the optical center of the lens the distance between principal focus and the optical center is the focal length give two differences between principal focus and focal length principal focus it is the point at which the refracted rays meet after refraction through a lens this point is on the principal axis focal length the distance between optical center and the principal focus is focal length and principal focus is denoted by capital f whereas focal length is denoted by small f so these are the differences between principal focus and the focal length now define focusing the process of making sharp image on a screen with a convex lens by changing the distance between the lens and its screen is called focusing the process of making sharp image on a screen with a convex lens by changing the distance between the lens and the screen means by moving forward or backward and uh, making sure that the sharp image is made on the screen that process is called focusing define magnification of a lens magnification of a lens is defined as the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object so magnification is i divided by o here i is height of the image and o is height of the object so m equal to i by o this is magnification explain the following uh, magnification one what does it mean magnification one magnification one means i equal to zero means when height of the image is equal to the height of the object then in that case magnification is one next is magnification less than one magnification less than one means when height of the image is smaller than height of the object i is smaller than o okay image uh, height of the image is smaller than height of the object image is smaller the magnification greater than 1 magnification greater than 1 means when image is longer or larger than the object image is larger than the object so i is greater than o magnification negative means this is virtual image virtual image means the image is on the same side of the object and this is erect in this case it is negative magnification positive magnification positive means it is real image the image is on the other side of the lens and it is inverted so in this case it is positive so these are the important points to remember you may get this questions okay explain the following uh, on magnification topic so number 17 number 17 lens formula lens formula is I 1 divided by F equal to 1 divided by U plus 1 divided by B. Again, <clears throat> magnet lens formula, lens formula is, lens formula is 1 divided by F equal to 1 divided by U plus 1 divided by B. This is called lens formula. Now, number B, which formula is used to find the fluctuation of the shape of a body? Which formula is used to find the shape of the body? The formula used to find the fluctuation of the shape of the body is magnification. Magnification is equal to size 
of the image or height of the image i divided by size of the object or height of the object o and which is equal to image distance divided by object distance image di image distance is denoted by u b object distance is denoted by u so here magnification is equal to i divided by o which is again equal to b divided by u so this is the formula used to find the fluctuation of the shape of the body now 18 power of lens define power of lens power of lens is the capacity of the lens to converse or diverse the light rays falling on it or the power of lens is reciprocal of the focal length expressed in meters focal length is expressed in meters p equal to 1 by f so f is measured in meter SI unit of power of lens is diopter capital D SI unit is capital D define one diopter power power of lens is one diopter when its focal length is one meter or a lens is said to have one diopter power if its focal length is one meter or 100 centimeter one meter is equal to 100 centimeter the power of lens is plus 5d name the type of lens name the type of lens the power of the power of lens is plus 5d the type of the lens is convex plus 5d power means convex lens the power of the lens is minus 5d name the type of that lens this is the reverse question so minus 5d power of the lens means the type of the lens is concave the type of the lens is concave minus power is concave uh, define near point and far point near point the nearest point up to which an object can be seen clearly by the eyes with normal eyesight is called the near point it is also the least distance of distinct vision which is equal to 25 centimeter for the normal eyes far point the farthest point up to which object can be seen clearly is called the far point farthest point up to which objects can be seen clearly is called far point for normal eyes eyes without defect it is infinity distance it is infinity distance so these are the definitions of near point and far point give two differences between near point and far point near point it is the nearest point up to which a normal eye can see clearly whereas far point is it is the farthest point up to which a normal eye can see clearly near point it is the least distance of distinct vision that is 25 centimeter but far point is it is the infinity distance for a normal eyesight infinity distance for a normal eyesight these are the differences between near point and far point with this we finish part one revision and we are going to do remaining part in next video